That was uh, that was Michael Jackson. Yep. Anyway, hi. We just uh, had lunch bunch. Uh, we went to Mission. We haven't been to Mission in forever. Yeah. Like, like it's been. Uh, at least for me. It's been a long time. Uh, turkey sandwich. Uh, I feel like the turkey is different. I don't know. Really? Yeah. It was. I mean, it. I had it too. It was sliced uh, sliced more thinly than it used to be. I feel like it tasted different. I don't know. Really? I mean, I mean, I still enjoyed it. Just okay, great. well, that's but, good. Um, yeah, and maybe the mac and cheese too. I don't know. Maybe it's just my brain. You also have too long. I mean, if you haven't been here in a while, you forget what it is too. Like you don't know. Yeah. What is it like? Pizza? Is it mission pizza? I forget. Oh right, it's barbecue. <laughs> I like going to Mission um, because I really like that turkey there. Yeah. And they also have a really good mustard. That being said, I think I still prefer barbecue ass. Mm -hmm. Really? Mm -hmm. yeah. Anyway, dinner tonight, far more exciting than um, having barbecue for lunch. And that's because uh, we made some ahi tuna, which we have not made in... Wow, also just a really good looking plate of vegetables. Isn't it though? I only did the tuna. Mal is the one who slaved over the the veggies. Mmm. Tuna's real good. Mm-hmm. Try some veggies. Oh, I'm gonna try some man, the tuna's really good. Wow. Yeah. We, that soy did a lot, didn't it? Yeah. We haven't done tuna mm -hmm. in a long time. Maybe we could pick some up from Costco. Mm-hmm. Mm. Oh my god, those veggies are good. That's just salt and pepper and olive oil on them? Incredible. Wow. That's really nice. So, I can't remember, but I think a few weeks ago I had said something on the blog about ordering a um, pelican case. It arrived. So, after dinner I'm going to open it. And I'm very excited about it. So this is the Pelican Air 1535. And uh, I gotta tell you, choosing which case to get was uh, really terribly difficult. Um, I went with the Air uh, because I thought that having a lighter um, Pelican would be nice because from what I understand, they are ridiculously heavy. And then also, based on like the models that I was looking at, it seems like this one would hold everything that I wanted it to hold, which I guess is the best reason to buy a case. Some of you don't even know what the Pelican case is, uh, in which case I'll show you, give me a sec. So let's pull this out of here. Oh, God. Okay. Here, bud, you can play with that box. So this is a Pelican case. It's basically just a hard shell case. And uh, has a lot of different... Hold up. ...uses. Is he being cute? No, he just wants to eat cardboard. Pelican case is just... Um, it's, I, I guess I, I would call it, like, the, the leading hard case company, if you need to put something in a hard case. And you... You can use them uh, in a lot of different ways, um, but uh, a lot of times they put uh, video equipment in them, which is what I'm doing. But you can also put anything in them. They, uh, they are dustproof and uh, watertight and... Um, People put like computers and laptops in them and stuff. Yeah, uh, firearms, um, just whatever you want to store, you can store it in a Pelican case. And when you buy a Pelican case, the default thing that you get is foam, and you cut the foam out to fit exactly what you want um, to hold, and then it goes into the, the, the foam perfectly, and it doesn't rattle around. But there's other things that you can get, too. So, let me open this up. I decided to get this. Uh, these are the... 
padded dividers. There's you, you, you can get the foam or you can just get it without anything and do your own solution. You can get padded dividers and then there's also Trek Pack dividers. And uh, I decided to get the padded dividers because I thought that it would suit my needs best for uh, camera equipment. I have had a problem ever since we came back, uh, honestly, ever since we came back from Florida in December, um, taking all of the different camera equipment that we have is kind of a, a pain because it's in several different bags because there's some things that really shouldn't be like in a bag together because I don't trust that it's not going to get hurt. And uh, I wanted to consolidate all of that stuff. And I thought that a Pelican case would be the best way of doing it. And I've been around Pelican cases because we had them at SCAD for all sorts of different pieces of equipment. If you rented anything, it came in a Pelican case. Uh, but I've never owned one myself. So this is, uh, this is the one I decided to get. You can move around all the Velcro parts to, um, you know, to suit your, your needs. And then it the has other- the inside lid. Yeah, and then if you, you know, if you really wanted to change this up, you could. Like you could buy the foam and then do the foam or, or whatever. But I thought that this was a good size because I could have gotten something even larger, but I feel like this will fit everything that I need. And that even if I outgrow it for whatever reason, I could still use this size because this is a good size uh, case. So I could still have like a smaller set of stuff that would go in here and I could get a bigger case down the line. So I thought that this was a, a good one to get. But uh, what I'll be doing in the coming days, not tonight, is I'll be taking all of um, the, the nice cinema stuff and putting it in this case. So if I need to uh, take it anywhere or travel anywhere, I can just grab this one thing instead of three backpacks, which is really stupid. Um, it'd be a lot better to have just the one. So uh, I've been doing all of the vlogs and stuff lately on the iPhone because um, it's just so convenient, but I still do shoot things occasionally with the FX3, and that's gonna go in here. The FX3, the lenses, uh, the handle, uh, et cetera. So And soon, we talked about- Soon I'm gonna get this set up, and when I do, I'll, I'll update the vlog with it. Yeah, we talked about how these are pretty deep and not everything needs to be that deep and it yeah. might rattle around this way. So I had a solution to use some other foam. So we're gonna try a few things out and see. Yeah, like the, again, the default way that these come are the foam that you cut yourself. And like that is the best solution, right? Because if you do that, then it's, it's, perfect. it's perfect. The problem is once you've cut the foam, you've cut the foam and you can't uncut the foam. And uh, I liked the idea of these dividers because if I get different gear, if I change my gear in any way, it's all still perfect. Like I, I don't have to um, worry about the fact like, oh, I got another lens and now that I got another lens, everything's screwed up or whatever. So I can just rearrange this as necessary. Anyway, neat. I kind of always thought that I'd wind up getting one of these someday, but I didn't really have a big need until recently. And, uh, you know, just trying to be really gentle with those bags, those soft bags, when we would go places with that camera uh, made me really anxious. And I'm glad that I don't have to worry about that so much anymore. The other reason, and it's not necessarily like the real reason, but kind of the real reason, is that Carly is getting married in November and, um, I am going to be shooting, at least in some capacity, the wedding. So I'm going to have to take gear and I'd rather take one thing. <laughs> and this will be way easier to keep track of and way easier to, to think about with just one case instead of like, <laughs> these are the three backpacks. Uh, so that's another good, good reason. But also just storing this and be like, oh, we're gonna shoot something with the nice camera. It's in this bag. It's in this one briefcase, yeah. Anyway, we'll deal with this uh, soon. It's, it is a nice case. The, uh, the Pelican Air models are a little more expensive, but they're made of lighter plastic. And I think that's basically it. I mean, so the normal ones are supposed to be tougher but apparently the Pelican Airs are also super tough, so it didn't. I, I mean, didn't, you're not like 
I'm not in a war zone, yeah. basically. If I was in a war zone, then maybe I would have not done the air model, but this seemed fine. Also, it has wheels on it, too. Oh, it stands up on its end like a... Yeah, like a... Yeah, it has a it has handle. The, has the little handle. How do you do this? Probably just pull. There we go. Cute. Anyway, it's it seems like a genuinely nice case, and I'm excited to uh, to get a chance to, to use it further. But uh, stop stop back by again in the next few days, and I'll I'll try to have um, like taken all of the gear and put it in there, and uh, see what it looks like. All right, that's it. Thanks for watching. Let's be back tomorrow, shall we?